Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make for supper, we're having beef, gravy over mashed potatoes, carrots with a brown sugar sauce, and um, I had some homemade rolls that I'd made in the freezer, so I thawed them out. And I'm also making a cake, white cake, with a berry sauce over the top of that. So come join me. Let's see what my assistant says. So what do you think? Beef gravy over mashed potatoes. We're going to use stew meat. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, I'm out here hanging up the... I filled the peanut butter feeder. So you can hear the birds already. They love it. My husband built it out of a tree limb. And then I fill it with peanut butter mixed with seed. And the woodpeckers love it. All the animals love it. Every bird. I've had I have deer here every night, but they don't seem to bother that. I bring in my feeders, so but just look at this today. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That's a little squirrel house my husband built, stuck it in the tree. The chipmunks and the squirrels fight over it in the summertime. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that frost. Love it. This is our pond in the winter time. We put goldfish in it in the summertime. And now the goldfish are in a tank in the house. They're big and fat. They grow big in a pond. I'll, um, I'll insert a picture of it. You don't look so white out here against the snow. She loves the snow. Do you love the snow, baby girl? Are you watching? You watching your property? Okay, I'm getting this started for beef gravy over mashed potatoes and a vegetable for supper. What I did was I put about a pound of stew meat in there and about a half a cup of beef broth, a can of beefy onion soup, some water, some W sauce, garlic powder, and pepper. And then I'm going to let this cook. I've got it on high right now, but I'll let it cook for until until the the stew meat falls apart. And then I can make gravy out of it. I'm going to get this cake mixed up and into the oven. I'm cheating. I'm using a box white cake mix. So I got that in there. I'm adding one half cup vegetable oil. One and one fourth cup water and four egg whites.
All right, we'll get that in the pan and into the oven. Now the cake is out of the oven. It was a boxed cake. It's, uh, if I wanted a bigger cake, I would have added more boxes. But we just want a, like a sheet cake for this. So I'm gonna start the sauce now. So let me move you. Here, so I'm gonna start with, I'm putting four cups of mixed, they were frozen, mixed berries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries. I'm gonna put this in the pan. Now I'm gonna add one cup of white sugar. One quarter cup of lemon juice. Now I'm going to cook that over medium heat. Stir occasionally for five minutes. Yeah, it's hard to believe that tomorrow is 2023 already. It's going to be a good year, though. I'm just going to put that out there so... Because you know words have power, so I'm putting out words that it's going to be the best year that we've ever had. Words are, have creative power, so speak good words, you get good things back. Hopefully you're going to be able to finish um, working on remodeling my kitchen and living room. You've probably already noticed that some of the... Uh, let me... Here, let me... You've probably already noticed that some of my walls aren't complete. We're slowly getting through that. We have to paint the ceiling and the trim. And right now, my husband is in the middle of patching some of the things on the walls. So that's what you're seeing in the background if you see a odd looking wall. He redid the countertops, used a countertop painting kit so that was they've been done for quite a while and really nice didn't have to put new countertops in so he, years ago he could have done that but he, he used to be a carpenter just put in a, a lot of countertops his family owned a countertop business and they made cabinets and But he's been living on a journey with spinal stenosis, so he does. Uh, he can only do a couple hours of work at a at a time, slowly, and then sometimes it takes him a few days to recover from that. So just slowly but surely, and when we have the extra money, we buy the the stuff to make it, and the stuff to fix everything we need to fix. It's an old house, but it's paid off and so is the land, so not going anywhere. Okay, this has been, I've been stirring this for about five minutes. So now we're going to add I'm going to add one half cup of water and one quarter cup of orange juice. And I didn't have orange juice, but I had oranges, so I squeezed it fresh. Add that to it and stir that for another five minutes. 
There, I fixed my camera angle so you can see me and the, the cooking at the same time. I'm actually having to, I have to get a new phone. I ordered one. It's going to be a different phone. This phone that I've got, I've had it for so long. And it no longer lets me make phone calls. I can only talk to somebody for about two minutes and it drops calls. Got to have a phone, you know. It was so easy to make, fun, to make a box kick. I haven't done that in years. It'll be good. I'm so used to making everything myself. Years ago when the kids were little, I just, I figured if you can buy it, you can make it. Yeah, I used to even make my own margarine using, um, make it in the, in the blender with oil and I would mix uh, soft butter and oil and, and a little water and um, less than for it to emulsify it. And if I wanted it, the more water I added to it, the lower in calories and fat it would be. And that was fun. I used to love making my own everything homemade. I actually have a recipe book which is called Make Your Own Groceries. And that boy that was a keeper. That I searched and searched for that and I found Online, um, I found it, and I made a lot of phone calls too. There was one left in print in a bookstore in New York City, so I called them, ordered it, paid for it, and they mailed it to me. I was so excited to get that because that has everything in it: mixes, spice mixes, everything in it that you can think of. Like I said, make your own groceries. If you can buy it, you can make it. So I was really excited about that. Alright. Now the recipe didn't call for cornstarch, but just in case and I need it to thicken it, I I put like a couple tablespoons of cornstarch in a bowl with a couple tablespoons of cold water, mixing it up. And I'll add that if I need to thicken up this uh, berry sauce. So I'm gonna turn up the heat. I'm going to cook this pretty much constantly. And I know some of you are wondering why is my channel called Pretirement Days. Um, I didn't, I don't want to be set to just cooking because eventually I might do some vlogging um, elsewhere. Um, but you know, retirement. Officially, I'm eligible for retirement from my job in another three years. But I don't have a really hard, physically hard job. I, I, it's almost all that is done on the computers. So I don't know if I'm ever going to retire. I. I'm just not a type of person that I can just sit and do nothing. I just, I can't even watch a 30 minute sitcom all the way through. I'm constantly getting up and doing things. I really, sometimes I have to teach myself to rest. But I just, I never 
Personally, I don't feel that I'm ever going to retire because I'll never retire from God's work. And I'll just uh, keep doing whatever I can do. I am going to add some of this cornstarch to it. I'm just going to pour a little bit in there. Because it'll thicken up fast. Oh yeah. It's starting to get a little thicker. Hey, come here. Come here. That's the one thing about American Eskimos is they bark at everything. Even if there's nothing, they bark because they think there's something. So I'm going to let that cool, that sauce for the cake, and then I'm going to start my gravy. Okay, I'm going to start out with four tablespoons of butter. Okay, now I'm going to add four tablespoons of flour. This is to make a roux. I don't want that in here. My grandmother taught me how to do this to make gravy using the equal parts of butter and flour. Now, like the southern roux, they usually use oil, equal parts of oil and water. I'm going to let that cook a little bit so that it cooks the taste of the flour. I want it a little bit, I want it a little darker in color. And I had already pre-cooked the stew meat in the crock pot, like I showed first and added the broth to it, water and W sauce. And this is getting a good color on it here. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? to have a rich flavor so I don't want it too dark I don't want it um, gumbo dark yeah see it is just that color Okay, now I'm going to add my, while that's still boiling, I'm going to add my meat and my juices. And that's going to thicken up pretty good here, so I don't want it too thick. Turn it up a little bit to get it boiling again. This makes wonderful gravy over mashed potatoes. Just does. Okay, now this is pretty thick for our taste. If you like thick gravy, this is pretty good. So I'm going to add a little bit of, I had beef consomme in the freezer, so I'm going to add a little bit of that. Too much. 
much. Just to, to your consistency. Yeah? The more it boils, the thicker it'll get. The gravy is done. Put that in a bowl. Okay, now I am going to attempt to just dump this in here. And just to the top. You have to wait. Okay, there's the gravy is done. So we'll set that aside. Set that over here. medium sized pan and now I'm going to start the brown sugar sauce that I'm going to put over the carrots. So I'm going to get this going and get a new whisk. The, another four tablespoons of butter melted. And this I'm going to do just like I did with the gravy. I wonder if it would help if I turn this way. Oh, that doesn't help. Sorry about the lighting. Put the four tablespoons of flour in there. It's not a very bright day out. Cloudy. Okay, now I'm going to let this um, cook until I get that nice, kind of a tan color. Now I'm going to get, I have two cups of water and I have to pop that in the micro, microwave to get, to boil. Okay, I've got that going. Add the salt. I've got one half teaspoon of salt. This is coming along really good here. I got these recipes. This one I got online from All Recipes. And um, I'm going to try to remember to put a link. Okay, this is, this is a good tan colored, see? So now I'm going to add one cup of brown sugar and stir that around. Looking. 
See what it's doing? It's almost like making caramel. So it's, yeah, like a caramel sauce. Okay, now it's bubbly, so I'm going to turn off the heat, I'm going to add the boiling water. So now I'm going to add the vanilla, I'm adding two teaspoons of vanilla, because I doubled this recipe. Okay, this looks very delicious. Yeah, we've got this nice sauce here. So I'm going to pour that into here. That looks good. Okay, we're gonna let that cool a bit. I am going to warm up my carrots. Okay, I put the oven on 375. Put my carrots in a pan. Now I'm going to spoon some of this brown sugar sauce over my carrots and put them in the oven. And since there's butter in the sauce, I'm not going to add any more butter. But these will be good and caramely. All right, I'm gonna put these in the oven, let these cook in the delicious brown sugar sauce. Just until the carrots heat up, I'll check it in about 15. Okay, the last thing I've got here is the uh, the mashed potatoes. Okay, the water's boil boiling, so I turned it off. I'm gonna add the one cup of cold milk and see these are granules. Let's see if I can get a spoon here to show you the granules. They're not flakes, they're granules. Really, really good. Now I'm gonna add the granules. They really do make a creamy. If I can remember, I will put a link that I got them at Amazon. That's it for that. Okay, now I've got my, um, I put butter on my buns and warm them up a little bit. Put a little mashed potato in here. Put a little dip in there for the gravy. Gravy over that. Let's see if we can see this. Doesn't that look delicious? Put some carrots on it. A little bit of that brown sugar sauce. Doesn't that look good? Oh, it makes the best gravy. Put that down. And here is the cake with the berry sauce on it for dessert. I'm excited. I'm really excited to, I think I'm gonna have a taste of that gravy.
doesn't have any pepper on it, but that's okay with me. I'm going to have just a little taste. It's pretty hot. Mmm. But stew meat is just, it's just melts in your mouth. Let's see what the carrots are like with the sauce. Mmm. Very good. My husband's going to love this. He loves that sweetness. And if you want, you can add extra butter if you want. So thank you for joining me today. I had fun today. I hope you did too. Subscribe if you haven't. And thank you for those who have subscribed. I just really appreciate it. I really enjoyed doing this. And the purpose of starting these videos was for my kids to um, have a, a vid, uh, visual of their favorite foods growing up. So, and it's already working. My son is sending me pictures of um, the foods that he's been making from these videos. So thanks for joining me again. Remember, stay busy and serve others. Bye for now.